What is up everybody, Ghost Gamer here. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet today. I am doing my first impression of Dirt Rally. Now for all of you out there <clears throat> who was less than enthused, less than satisfied, less than happy with Dirt 3 and constantly saying that it was too arcadey and it wasn't realistic enough, even though Codemasters said that they were trying to make it super realistic and blah 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 I don't know where that video clip is but if I knew where it was I'd include it in this one either way they finally dug their head out of their rear end and made what you're looking at right here or I should say they are making what you're looking at right here which is dirt rally which is absolutely awesome and up my alley because I am a huge fan of both Rally and Rally Cross. Now, granted, there is no Rally Cross in here, uh, and actually, I've been—I don't think I've updated it yet. So I think that Hill Climb is still blocked out, as you know, quote unquote, coming soon. But either way, this is so much better than Dirt Three ever was, as far as the whole Rally aspect goes. This is what Dirt. Well, I don't want to say what Dirt 3 should have been, but if they're finally going back to their roots, if you will, with the whole, like, Colin McRae um, rally, or uh, what the hell was it called? I think Colin McRae Dirt, or whatever, it was long ago. But they're finally going back to that aspect, and essentially what you are getting is a cross between Dirt and like Forza or Dirt and Gran Turismo, you are getting a rally simulator, which I have to say, this is one of those games that is really making me want to go out and get my Fnatic set fixed and get rid of this Logic Tech wheel. But that will be, well, we'll see about that one. Gripes and complaints about this game, not very many. Um, there are a couple gripes that I had as far as the force feedback is concerned. Now, granted, like I said, I was playing with my Logic Tech, not my Fanatic. You know what I mean. Playing with a Logic Tech wheel and the force feedback was a little to be desired. I also went through and even plugged it in and played with an Xbox One controller. Before I hear a bunch of bitching and complaining, the whole reason I did that is because I know not everybody who comes across this game will treat it like a true simulator. I don't know how many people I've met along my ways that have played simulator games with console controllers, so with that, I also went that route as well. And also, they need to tighten up the whole vibration uh, feedback in the controllers because there's quite a few times where it literally just got stuck on the on position and damn near made my hands fall asleep. But aside from all this, I mean, image-wise, it looks fantastic. There are a couple levels that I've noticed thus far that could use some optimization. Again, this is an early release. It's, you know, essentially a beta that we have to pay for. We won't even get into that. But it is a beta. They're still working on it. That's kind of like their early release thing. Hey, you know, give us some feedback. Let us know what we can change. And that's one of the things that I'm doing here today. Optimize some of your levels. Uh, there's a couple in mind, if I remember what they are. I'll put them in the description below. Um, force feedback. Tighten that up. Because there's quite a few times where I've encountered issues. Uh, the whole steering wheel thing needed tightened up as far as I was concerned. Just a little bit, not a whole lot. Uh, the vibration for the game pads also needs tightened up. That's something that was annoying as hell. Aside from that, I have no issues, gripes, or complaints, really. I mean, we're talking about even at the highest setting that I maxed out on this particular computer, which only has a 2 gig video uh, and video card in it it's nothing special it's an AMD uh, ver uh, 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 AMD Visera 8 core 8350 CPU I mean I, I was trucking in uh, I want to say it was like 65 70 frames the entire way so no gripes complaints there I'd you know if I took it to my actual computer and put it in there 
which I will be doing later. I'm guessing I'd probably be up around like 90 to 100 frames. Steady all the way through. I'd be content with that. This is definitely not anything like the Dirt 2, Dirt 3, where it's too, like, extremely, or uh, definitely nothing like Dirt Showdown. Let me tell you that right now. Got rid of the whole arcadey feel, went with a simulation feel, and I have to say, thumbs up to Codemasters for going that route, because it is something that I've wanted for quite some time, that nobody really delivered on at the level that I was kind of wanting. Now, granted, I know some of you are probably watching on the screen and kind of chuckling because I still suck at driving in games. I don't care. But it is something that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. I cannot wait until they get this thing completely finished. I hope that they stick kind of true to their word and listen to the feedback that they're getting from the users out there, kind of like me, um, that are telling them, you know, where things should be tightened up at, so on and so forth. But that's it for me. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I always try to. Do not forget to hit the thumbs up and the thumbs down button, depending on whether you liked or disliked this video. And by all means, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Not only does it help me out tremendously, but it also lets you know every single time I kick out a video. And, well, who wouldn't want that? But... For now, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back and actually play some more. Maybe get some more work done. Who knows? We'll see. But for now, this is Ghost Gamer, and I'm out of here. Have fun, kids. And if you haven't already, download the game. This one right here. It's only like 35 bucks. It's worth it. But by all means, it's fun as shit. I suggest it.